This is payroll system developed in BB6 MSX and Crystal Report. To develop uh, and run this project, you need to install Visual Basic 6.0, Microsoft Access and Crystal Report 8.5. So this is the Crystal Report you need to install, and you need to install Visual Basic 6 also. So once you purchase this project, you will get uh, this uh, fi files and folder. This is the project report, synopsis, and readme. How to configure? And this is the source code folder. Okay, so database is developed in MS Access and report is developed in Crystal Report. So to start this project, you need to first start your Visual Basic 6.0. So just go to that Visual Basic 6.0 folder, then select Visual Basic 6.0. Right click and run as administrator. Once you started, just cancel it. Select the source path, copy it, and then file open project. Test it. Okay. E payroll model dot bbb. Your project file you have to open. Once you open it, you will get all the fo forms. So if you want to change any text in login form or startup form, so you can start screen. So you want to change this, so just go there and click in like your name. Whatever you want to change, you can change. Once everything is done, you just save it and run the project. The default user ID is admin and password is admin. This is the project, this is the menu option. So first you have to create that employee for payroll. So it is already employees added, sample employee. Suppose I want to add a employee edit. So they want to add employee. So I will click on add new. We'll type the name. So um, this is optional field. Machine it goes in type in the really do not compulsory date of birth. You can say date of birth uh, division department, say division is administrator, designation, say channel here. Area you can set the area city pin code then academic information say this is postgraduate passing year 2018 result following the number of names set if you want to more record you can use so once the record is added, you can just go there and you can check, like this last record I have added. I want to edit some information. Click on edit, like say add this one. So, this is the employee record, employee photo you can add. This is the employee photo folder. So you have to just create some images with that employee ID dot jpg. So automatically it will display. So once this is done, you have to set that employee Pay setup like what is the salary? Say this is a department, software department. This is the employee number one. So I want to say I want to basic salary. I want to increase. So I will just change here. I want to go twenty one thousand and save it. Yes. So this is or other thing. This is the for calculation. Like what is the HRA? HRA is a fixed amount, so I can change it. Click on edit first, and then you have to change all the details. Like, I want to edit like a HRS so 2500. Then, that dearness allowance, say, I want to give you 17%. Okay, so it will change. And then you have to update it. Same way, you can change the second employee also. Like, this is a say HRA, I want to edit, I want to edit to say 2750. Okay. Now 16, I want to give 17, 
So whenever this changes is happen, you have to edit it. So say, this is the bank account number, PF number, next entry and everything will be done. Say. Now once this is done, you have to just, uh, or you can update bulk update, like if you want to increase something, say division software display. Say I want to update the percent deduction, PF percent PF to 12.5. I will select edit column. Say new value. So I use the 13 percent. Okay. So it will be 13 percent. You could do 13 percent. So once you update, it will change to 13 percent. So this change will impact in that all the related models. Now once this is done, you have to first you have to set the monthly absent present. So I am calculating current one salary, say software development. Designation is all designation display. Now it will show the number of days for this month, April. Absent days. Say this person is absent for two days. I want to just click edit absent days. So I want to give say two days. Okay. So it will calculate two days is absent. Total present is 28. Suppose he is applying for leave. So I can just edit PL. So I can give like you can one PL you can apply okay. So twenty nine days he will get the salary. Suppose this person is absent, that is say five days. So once we update this, the salary will calculate based on the number of present days. So update. This you can generate report also, like I want to generate select been selected. So it will create a report. Like our salary days, number of days will be calculated for the salary. Total days, PL, how much PL is applied, everything. Once this is done, you have to update it. So it is updated. Now, next is calculate the salary. Salary, we have to select the month. If it is already calculated, it will show it is already calculated, like last month's salary. You have to select the department. It is already updated. Now, once last, if you change that uh, your uh, basics after calculating, like last month here is the 2500. Now we have changed to 21,000. So if we select April and calculate, now it is come 21,000 because we updated after calculating the last month salary. Okay, so now based on basics, it is adjusted. Like if it is calculated basic, subtracted is that is basic salary, but he is absent one day. So earned basic is 16. Accordingly, all things are changed. Once you have verified, you can print it. Like it will generate an Excel file to verify. So you can check all the details. Once it is verified by that uh, concerned person, you have to update. Once you update, then you can generate PSLE salary register everything. So I will update it. So now update. Once update, so you can lock the salary. Like once you lock, you cannot change anything in this uh, for this month. Check status. But not yet locked. Now click and lock. So it is locked. Now you cannot calculate again or you cannot absent present mark on this. So if you go and calculate salary again, and you select and if you click on update it will say that you cannot change or you cannot update it because you already locked now once this calculation is done there is a leave register also is there this I already show you like report say once you can generate the PS leave also like say department Software department, all designation, display. So you can select all employee and suppose you can notice say for this COVID-19, I can give you a message, COVID-19, so it will print this text in the all pieces, let's like say print all. So this text is come, so based on whatever calculation is done, what is the net pay, everything will be calculated. You can select only one person record and you can print selected also. 
bank and covered in letter if your salary is credited through bank you can generate that bank copy you can mail it to bank to credit the salary directly so i will show you bank statement so it will show total salary need to be credited all the account name it is stored in the employee master now the covering letter click on covering letter check number so i want to give a check to bank to credit so this is my check number check date i can post the check date the correct number say april 12 20 okay so it will create one what file with that all the details like whatever the total amount where total amount and salary of march so it will show all the details now this is summary of salary say so i want to give March to 2000 or software one. What is the total salary? So you can just check this. Also, profession. This is a report basically. So if that uh, organization is required, you can generate this report. Print. It will generate the report. Summary of provident fund. What is this total P S amount? You can select March to. So it will show two months total amount also increase. Like March or March, and April or March. This is all report is. Uh, so if you want to change the report, you have to ch- open the crystal layer and then change the layer, report. Basic is the important is basically when that summary of salary. Now security. If you want to change the password, you can change the password from the screen. Like create new user. I am logging as administrator. I want to add a new user. Say um, user one. Password say user one. And new user. Okay. New user will create it. So if you want to set the right set alter privilege, so I have created this one. This is user. So I want to change the super user. I can update. Maintain database. This is Excel database. You can compact or repair the database if you want. Now this is for general setting. So for calculation, like P professional tax, I will use a formula like basic and general allowance. If it is less than two thousand, so what will be the outcome? So if it is greater than ten thousand, so two thousand two hundred is that standard government rules. So if anything change in future, like say you have to This is two point two rupees. So it will update point two point two. Simply when update, it will update. Now there is other all settings such as allowances, how they end here. So any bonus is there. So suppose any additional you want to add, say new year bonus. So you can give a code name. So it will display in that uh, pay setup. I show. Add. Now if we go employee pay setup, so then select employee, and then this new is coming. New year bonus. So if you want to add this bonus, so you can just say bulk update and click on software development. Or say display, a new one is coming like new year bonus. So I want to give bonus to ten percent of basic. So I can just select this edit column. Okay, new condition will be condition or fixed amount. So I want to five thousand to change price. Okay.
So again, if you want to ch change this, so I only lock the salary for this one. So I am unlock this one. Unlock. Now I again I want to calculate calculate salary. So I will calculate now. So I will just check that the details and calculate. So once you calculate and you can just check this the new will come out of it. It is showing the five thousand bucks. Actually we have to delete first already calculated salary. Now you have to first delete the whole calculation. Now if you calculate again New year bonus is coming because this person is already one day is leave, so that's why it is coming late. Otherwise, it will become only 5,000. 5,000 because I have given the fixed amount. Now, I have to update. Now, if I want to generate again that pay slip, new one will come. It is coming actually you need to increase that uh, that portion because it is already blocked but I can check in the register so This is the new addition. So this is the project. So we have to just. Uh, this is actually it is a very good project, and you can any live payroll calculation also. It's all option required for Indian organization. Basically, this project is made for one school. So all the uh, required reports, everything is built, and it is very good for academic purpose also. So you can buy this position readymade project dot com by payroll system. Okay. And once you buy you will get all the files like sort code project report, installation guide, this video also. So you can use this uh, site and buy it online.